my friends. Welcome to the world of the day. From the book, Trade Your Cares for Calm, from Max Lucado. The Good Life. The widest river in the world is not the Mississippi, the Amazon, or Nile. The widest river on earth is a body of water called If Only. Throngs of people stand on its banks and cast longing eyes over the waters. They desire to cross but can't seem to find the ferry. They are convinced that if only river separates them from the good life. If only I were thinner, I'd have the good life. If only I were richer, I'd have the good life. If only the kids would come, if only the kids were gone, if only I could leave home, move home, get married, get divorced. If only my skin were clear of pimples, my calendar free of people, my profession immune to layoff, then I would have the good life, the if only river. Are you standing on its shores? Does it seem the good life is always one if only away? One purchase away, one promotion away, one election, transition or romance away? If so, then we trace your anxiety back to one of its sources. You're in a hurry to cross the river and worry that you never will. Consequently, you work long hours, borrow more money, take on new projects and pile one more responsibility, stress, debt, short nights, long days, all part of the cost of a ticket to the land of the good life, right? Not exactly of him, the Apostle Paul. The good life begins, not when circumstances change, but when our attitude towards them does. Look again at his antidote for anxiety. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Philippians 4. 6 to 7. Paul embedded in the verses two essential words that deserve special attention. With thanksgiving, sprinkle among your phrases, help me, please give me, if only, should be the two wonderful words, thank you. Does it seem the good life is always one, if only away? This is the word of the day.